Hey guys, how y'all doing? In this segment, we're going to do Papa's Guillotine Collection. And I've been collecting these things over the years, a long time actually, and uh, they're very cool. And, oh, by the way, I'm just going to let you know what time of the year it is. This is uh, the 17th of May, uh, 2020. So this is the year we were all cooped up in our houses because of the coronavirus. Very historical thing. And my daughter, Nikki, graduated with a bachelor's degree in science, with honors. I thought that was very awesome. And also, my niece, Katie, has graduated from high school and has been accepted into an Arkansas university. So we've had some graduates this year. Very cool. Congratulations, ladies. Amazing job. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get on to this. Here we go. This is a... Little illusion, and it's from practicing with it, it's got some carrot juice on it. <laughs> but anyways, this is a, a handmade device. It's one of my early ones, and it took me forever to figure this thing out. And what it is, is you uh, stick a blade in. Let's see. Let's put the blade up there. And let's look over here and find a carrot that will fit in here. There we go. All right. And so then you take the blade, and you push it through the carrot, and the carrot's fine. Not one of my favorite guillotines, but someone took the time to make this. Uh, it took me a while to figure out what the concept was and how it worked. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's not one that you see me mess with or show off very often, but it is cool. And here's another wooden one. It's a very well-crafted and made device. It's kind of fragile, so I don't ever break this one out very often. But uh, it's got a, a wooden blade with a hole in it. All right. And then the object is, is that you stick it in there. And I, you don't want to cut any carrots or anything up with this thing because it would, the blade just wouldn't handle it too well. So you pull the blade up to where you can see the part, and you put someone's finger in there. And this is easier with someone else's. So I'm going to try it with mine because it's kind of pulled out to show the end result. It's kind of hard by yourself. Anyway, there's my finger. We're going to take the, the wooden blade and slap right through it. Did it go through? We're going to find out here. If I can open this thing up and lift that right out so you can see. Put it in right in. Penetrated right through my finger. That is very cool. That's a very neat, clever ideal. Like I said, this is one of those I kind of protect a lot. I don't get it out very often to show it. Because it's just so neat. Now, of course, I have 10 young guillotines. And this one right here, I call it the Mean Greeny. Because this one has literally terrified you grandchildren over the years. I see that little crack right there. But anyways, this one was a very old 10 young trick. And it is worth now a lot of money. And you're almost impossible to find this exact one. Now, you can find uh, knockoffs made by other companies that kind of look like this. But this is the real deal. This is the one that came out and started it all. And this is what turned me on the most. Uh, you can stick a, a cigarette in there just to show the power of this thing and give it a slap. And it, yes, it, uh, it cuts. Very cool. So after you show, get all that tobacco off. I hate cigarettes. Nasty. All right. So then you have. Your grandchild take their finger and you stick their finger in it like so. And as you bring the blade down, you say, now let me know if you can feel the blade because you're not supposed to. That would mean it's actually going to hurt your hand. And the minute they say, I can feel it, and as you can see, you can see the blade. I want you to watch. This blade is above my finger, all right? When I slap it, hopefully the finger doesn't fall off, but the blade will end up at the bottom. And you can see the blade all the way across. So, ready? Here we go. There, there's the blade. It's now resting on top of my finger. And one slap like that. And as you can see now, the blade is below my finger. That is so cool. That is a very cool... You can see tobacco built up in the bottom that I cannot get out. Because it doesn't come apart. <laughs> but, uh, that's, I, it shows you how many years I've had it and how much fun I've had with that one. Now, 30 or 40 years later, Tinian decided we need to make a new guillotine. So they made one that's completely transparent, okay? And uh, 
what you do here is you stick your, my finger's kind of big, but you can stick your finger in it, and it's easier for me to use something else. I'm going to use this dollar bill, because I think it looks cool with money. Uh, even in the instructions, they, you know, they talk about you can put your, uh, someone's finger in it, and it, that's all good stuff. But this, you can actually roll up a dollar bill and get rolled over again, like a tube. The idea is so you can see through this bill at the same time. Okay, so there it is. As you can see me through the the bill, and it comes with this little black blade here. And you put the blade in, and you rest it right above there. And this little clip here is just to hold the blade from just dropping through. I wish they. I'm going to come up with a metal blade for this eventually. But anyways, you take this clip off, and hopefully, boom, it goes right through. Now, that's pretty cool. But what I think is awesome about this concept and illusion is when you spin it around, you can actually see all the way around that the blade has penetrated the bill. That's very cool. All right, raise the bill up, or bring the blade up, and then pull our dollar out and make sure it's still spinnable. <laughs> and that's another new tenure trick. Now, this one right here is one of you grandkids' favorite. This is a replica of an actual French guillotine. Uh, there's a rock star by the name of Alice Cooper. If you're just watching his videos and his concerts, he does all kinds of monsters and crazy stuff. And one part of the show is they raise up the stock on the guillotine and stick his head in it, and <clears throat> the blade comes down through his head. And I saw it back in the, I think it was the 80s or late 70s. It looked so real, and you see his head fall off. It was really cool. Uh, anyways, this is like a real French guillotine. As you can see, it's got a pin that goes through the uh, blade up here. It's a solid metal blade. Uh, the stock raises up, which I think is very cool. And you stick a grandchild's finger in there. Now, what you're going to be watching for is when I pull this pin, this big heavy metal blade is going to come down through the stock, go through my finger, and hopefully end up down there without my finger out here. Okay? We're going to give this a try. So, ready? One, two, three. And there it goes. All the way to the bottom. Get this chain out of the way. And we raise the stock up. Finger's totally fine. And as you can see, the blade went through the bottom. That is a very cool, I bought this trick in Tulsa at a magic shop because there was a guy in Tulsa building these things and we only made so many and uh, I just happened to be in that shop when they got had some come in. Uh, they're no longer can buy these. I think they're selling them on eBay for quite a bit of money now. But I thought it was cool someone in my state built this thing and sold it in a magic shop. You know, so I had to own it. That's just all it was. Good. And it is one of my favorite guillotines. It's just it is the real thing, you know, it's really cool. Now, the one you guys have not seen, and there's a reason for this, is several years ago I bought one, uh, one that I've seen around. I just didn't want to buy a brand new one from the manufacturer. I was waiting for someone to put one out on eBay or somewhere, and really wanted something custom built, and I found one. Now, this isn't a finger chopper. This bad boy is called an arm chopper. Now, the thing about this thing is when I first got it, no instructions, you know. I thought I figured out how it worked by looking at it. Stuck my arm in it, pulled this blade down, and it cut my arm. Uh, yes. That, so, after that happened, I packed it back up, put it in the uh, storage where I had some other stuff that no one's seen, and... Said, you know, I can't do this with the grandkids because it will hurt people. And uh, so I could work on it and figure out why it hurt me. Now, the reason it hurt me was because it actually has a real metal blade here. And this is a sharp blade. Now, just to give you an idea of how sharp this blade is, here is a big carrot. All right. I'm going to put that carrot in there and I'll look. That just sliced that carrot like there's no tomorrow. Slices and dices. All right. So, that's exactly what happened. I stuck my arm in there and it came flying down thinking I had this mechanism figured out. And no, I did not. 
and it did put a cut in my arm. And I thought, until I take this thing apart and figure out what was wrong with it, you guys weren't even going to see it because it looked so fun and so cool. Now, what's going on here, what's so cool about this, why I got attracted to this type of a, a cutting device, is you, you put a carrot in the top hole and a carrot in the bottom hole and somebody's arm in this one. And when the blade comes down, as you can watch, you can see the blade go through the first hole, through the middle hole, through the bottom hole. Now, the reason for that, those other two smaller holes, is so we can stick carrots in them. All right, let me find a bigger carrot. Let's do some bigger carrots. This thing is so sharp. There's, there's one there. And let's try this. I hope these are not too big. All right, so we got two carrots and those holes. All right. And then I got to stick my arm, which is a tight fit, but I got to get my arm in there. All right. And get that carrot so it don't fall over. There we go. All right. So I'm going to try this. We're going to videotape this to make sure, because uh, if, it, if it cuts me again, I'm going to probably throw it away. So <laughs> here we go. Blade's coming down, so then go through carrot one, through my arm, and hopefully cut the bottom carrot. One, two, three, go. Oh yeah, that was, that was cool. Yep. Now, if I have to kill the video here, because i got to get Vic with some needle and thread, we got to sew my arm up again. No, just joking. Pop his arm's fine. Oop, I can get it out. Let's see if the carrot got caught in there, did it? So that's the arm chopper, and I can't wait to try it on you guys eventually. <laughs> well, anyways, that's Papa's Guillotine Collection. As you can see, we're up to six of them. I never tried to buy the same type of device twice. What I'm always looking for is a new style. Each one of these operates on a whole different principle than the, than the other. Uh, that's what fascinates me about These are very cool devices. Except for this guy. This guy can hurt you so bad because it's got a really sharp blade in there. So, anyways, here we are. Uh, that's Papa's Guillotine Collection. And um, we'll move on to the next video here in a few minutes after I reset. So, you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.